everyone, it is I Reversal, and in this video I'm just going to show you guys something a little bit different than your usual Knights and Dragons video. And in this video I'm actually going to show you guys how I record a video and how I edit a video. I think that's pretty interesting for you guys at the same time. It's not an actual Knights and Dragons video as you guys can see over here. Uh, I'll be getting to that but it's currently, I'm editing this video. It's going to take a while longer than I expected and it's pretty late already. So I figured I'll just bring you guys this video instead. Uh, but the way it goes is this is my tablet over here. I got my screen recording app over here and I just all I have to do is press this button over here and it will record. So let's just do that. And as you can see at the top here it shows that I'm recording. You can also check it by dragging down here it will say recording. And if we hit stop it will actually save on my tablet. But what I have now is I have my tablet hooked up to my computer. So the file should appear here immediately. And I'm just going to double click it to show you guys. But, um, and as you can see at the top, day, it shows that I'm recording. You can also check it by dragging down here. It will say recording. And if we hit... See? And it shows the whole screen. So I think this recording software is pretty cool. It is called screen free, if you will. But your device needs to be rooted. Uh, doesn't really get in focus on my phone, but that's okay. It was just in focus, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put it in the description below if you guys are interested. Anyway, what I do is I basically get all of my recording files down here. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of misfill, like I have a lot of failed takes and everything. It took me like 14 takes to record this entire video. So that was kind of sad, but at the meantime, that is the usual kind of stuff for me. Uh, but what happens after that, I go to import video and um, when I do that, it needs to load a little bit. But um, basically, I have this folder called Unedited. And um, in this folder, I basically have my two intros, like two different colors, but also my Knights and Dragons videos. And over here, it will just, I can just select which one I want to be in. You can also press Shift and it will basically select, select several. So I can just be like, I want this one until this one. And it will all highlight. I'm just going to open it. And it will appear here. And I already did some pre-work. I'm not going to go into that again because it takes up some time. But yeah, these are the these are the files or the recordings that I'm going to be using for this editing software video. And what I do is I basically drag everything down here. And it will add to the timeline. So basically if I would were to be adding this Knights and Dragons intro, I'm going to drag it all the way down here. And I'm gonna let it go. And as you guys can see, it actually appeared down here. It's a little time frame that actually got added into that. And over here you can see it got actually added. So I'm gonna remove this again because it will otherwise record mess up my recording or my editing. But I'm gonna show you guys something pretty awesome. It is my library. And over here, I basically have everything that I need, like from little sound effects, like a super punch or a small punch or a pokeball and a shiny thing or maybe a Pikachu. Like stuff like that, I have all in my, um, I all downloaded it and I have it in my, uh, well, I have it in my, in my, uh, in my library right now because I use these a lot. And for instance, what's also pretty cool, I'm just going to show you guys right now is over here I have a lot of Knights and Dragons stuff and I know my camera is a little bit out of focus right now and I apologize for that, but let's say if I were to select the Horseman's Battle Gear. Right now it's in here as an image. If I were to, well let's say, add it to cow out, that means where the time frame is, it will be added in there. So I'm just going to add it to time, uh, call out and it will appear in my video. And I can just drag this around the way I want it to be dragged and I can crop it or make it even bigger. And you need to be sure that this is a .png file because then it will be transparent. So this is pretty cool. I'm just going to uh, quickly remove this now because this is not part of the video. But that's what the whole editing process is. One thing that I wanted to show you what is amazing about Camtasia is these little buttons here like you can add a little rectangle and you can type in it like let's say something like test. Just going to highlight it and make it black because then you can actually see it and then you see it's actually in there. So that's some pretty cool stuff to work with. It's very straightforward, very easy. 
Uh, what I can also do is like change this to a uh, to the arrow that I'm usually using for the uh, little thumbs up animation or the or the little box over here. Or even if you guys will, I'm just going to show you guys real quickly. Is the part where I'm using these callouts for a comparison. And there you go. And that's how easy it is. It's really straightforward. It's just drag and pull and everything. Uh, but the I'm very precise when it comes to my annotations and editing. And this is just a whole lot of editing and everything. Like the music is at the bottom and little sound effects are here. So it takes me quite a while. It took me up to 20 to 30 minutes to finish all of this. So you can imagine how long this, this entire timeline is going to take me. So... That's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I really hope you guys got a little bit of more information out of this. And I'm sorry for not uploading an actual Knights and Dragons video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow when this one is actually done. And I apologize that this microphone is way better than this microphone. And I got a little message here. And okay, there you go. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.